Hello everyone, this is Tom the Collector with another action figure review and here we're going to build the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings build a figure which is Mr. Hyde. So let's build that first. So first thing we'll grab the torso which is from Xiling and then we'll grab his left leg which is from Shang-Chi and we just let's maneuver that real quick here. There we go. Okay. There we go. And then we'll do the other leg, which is from Iron Man. Move this a little bit, the jacket kind of gets in the way. All right. And then we will do the right arm, which is from uh, Death Dealer. And then next we'll do the other arm, which I believe is from uh, Win Woo. And then next we'll do the head, which is from uh, Civil Warrior. Let me just pop it in out of camera here. There we go. And then this came with the his right arm. I think I'll just have him hold it like this. And he's alive. Out of view here. There we go. So yeah, there he is. Out of uh, all builds. And yeah, so let's uh, go over the accessories. So first you get his cane here. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like um, Kingpin's cane, except this seems like it has a little bit more detailing on it, more sculpt. And then you get this little piece up here instead that makes it look like more of a cane. It's like a brown and it has that hook and it kind of gives it like an ax kind of look, even though it's not sharp on the edges here, but kind of looks like it. But yeah, that's our accessory. And then here's Mr. Hyde here. So here's the face all pissed. Um, so yeah, you get a little green top hat for him. You get some sideburns, you get some long hair going down the head here, so it looks good, brown hair. And you got his teeth, kind of looks like a fucking angry ape, to be honest. So yeah, you get all those gums in there, you get that yellow teeth, you get all those freaking wrinkles for being pissed. And then you get the eyebrows, they're just, wow. And then the eyes, oh my god, just blood, bloodshot, but they're green, which is kind of like my eyes. Not bloodshot though, they're green. <laughs> It's like a metallic looking green kind of. They did a good job on that. Sorry about that. Um, and then on the head here underneath, it has like that padding underneath. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that off or something. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna leave it in there just in case, but yeah. There's that little piece in there. Um, and then here's this jacket here. So you get the nice stitching along the edges here on the collars all along there and you get some more detailing for like buttons i guess and then yeah you get the long i think this is a reuse from joe fix it oh, there's a little bit of a scuff there that doesn't look good another one right here too huh weird and then yeah you get this like yellow white shirt here uh and then you get the red bow bow tie there and you get the vest here with the buttons button down black buttons and you get some more buttons here for the jacket slots for the buttons and you get that shirt in there and then here's his hands he's got some very hairy hands in there looks like it they're sculpted but they're not exactly painted it's kind of just like painted hands i guess like you just got like a weird tan line or something like that and then you got all those weird nails too, messed up nails. I wish they kind of painted those just to make it look a little more believable. Like I didn't notice that until you get up close to it and you kind of feel it. And then here's the other hand. So this one's like mainly for Earl and this hand, uh, his cane. And this one's just for going to grab people. So yeah, you get those nasty nails there. Wrinkly hand, dried hands, you need some lotion. And then you get the pants here, which we've seen before, except they're just green. And then same shoes from Joe Fixit as well. 
So yeah, you get that they holes in there for your feet to breathe a little bit. And you get this like very flat, casual looking shoes here with the stitching and all that. You get the laces. Uh, here's the back. So you get this like little piece here that helps the suit stay fitted, I guess. And you get the buttons down the sleeves here. But yeah, that's all we got for the looks. So let's go over the articulation. So he has a double ball joint at for the head. So you can only look down that far. The head is way too big for him. Not way too big, it's like right size, I guess. He can look up just that far. You can look left and right. A little head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out just that far. Not quite 90 degrees. 360 rotation. Single jointed elbows, not quite 90 degrees. You can kind of rotate them. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, and then wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. And then he does have an ab crunch, but it's like Joe fix it. So you barely go forward that much, barely go back. So and he also has a waist swivel here, 360 there. He can kick out just that far, forward just that far too, backwards not much and then uh thigh cut single jointed uh, and knees there and then you can kind of rotate them i guess if you want and then ankles can hinge down none up none and just very little ankle pivot there so yeah so yeah like i said it's kind of some of the pieces are kind of like reused from joe fixit's uh build a figure like the legs and the, the arms but they don't and then maybe the torso, not really the jacket. I know that jacket's way too long for that. Um, so yeah, def I think they just made the new jacket and a head sculpt maybe. No, this is a new torso because the bow tie and then the vest is a little different. So yeah, it's, it's a new uh, sculpt, I believe, but the arms and legs are the same from Joe Fixit. I think this is the same hands from Joe Fixit. They just add a little bit more sculpting in there and painting. But yeah, besides that, um, I mean, it's a good addition to the collection. I will say that because it's a completely different figure. We've never gotten this figure before. But um, like, uh, I, I would just say the articulation is not the best for this figure. But besides that, it looks cool. But, I mean, just articulation. It's mainly just, he's a big dude, so the legs don't bother me a whole lot about it. Maybe you can bend forward just a little bit. That would be awesome, though, with the ab crunch. But you can't really do that because of the vest. It's kind of blocking it. But besides that, that's all I got for this figure. Um, but, yeah. Um, make sure you guys check out my Twitch, The Hunter Collector. I am doing streams every, trying to do them every night. I'm doing Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, and a bunch of other games. Um, but besides that, that's all we got.